risk more. Now, basically, everybody, this is a question on how you are going to interpret the. Yeah, this is a question on how you are going to interpret. Okay, this is a question on how we are going to interpret the confidence interval whenever it is given to us. So, always remember some basic facts. Okay, interpretation of confidence interval. If one is included, okay, there can be two situations. One is included and one is not included. So, agar one include hota hai, it is not significant, okay. And if one is not included, it is significant. Now, in case we are talking about odds ratio or relative risk, if it is more than one, okay, odds ratio in a case control study, relative risk in a cohort, this is a risk factor. And if odds ratio or relative risk is less than one, it is a protective factor. Mm -hmm. This is the simple logic that you have to see. Okay. One include hai. Yeah, one include nahi hai. So, come back to this question. Look at group A. First, don't look at odds ratio. Look at 95% CI. 1 to 3.1. Now, one is included. So, this is not significant. Mm -hmm. Then, similarly, look at group C. 0.9 to 1.7. Again, one is included. So, this is not significant. But if you look at group B, everybody, is one included in the interval? No, it is significant. Now, once you get the significant, look at Zod's ratio. It is more than 1. Point, it's more than 1. Right? So, this is 1.4. So, this becomes a risk factor. Okay? So, risk is more associated in group A? Wrong. Risk is more associated in group B. Risk is more associated in group C? No, it's not significant. Risk is equally associated? Absolutely wrong. You have to look at confidence interval. If one is included, it's not significant. If one is not included, it is significant. Then look whether it's more than one or less than one. If more than one is risk factor, hai, less than one is <coughs> protective factor. Thank you so much. I'll come again with another MCQ. Be safe. Be happy.